Yo, everybody, how you doing? Cardboard Moses, which you're welcome. Uh, it is time to do 2017-18 Panini NBA Hoops Basketball 20 box full case break number three. And uh, I hope you got your popcorn ready because you're going to be here for a couple hours. Yeah, I said a couple hours. Couple me couple means two. Uh, so, yeah, you're going to be here for at least two hours because that's how long it's going to take me to break this. Um, I will not be sleeving all numbered cards because, as you will see, there are a ton of them. So, in the interest of time to maintain my schedule, uh, I will only be sleeving and top loading autographs and low numbered cards, anything that's lower to 25 and things of that nature. I will sleeve everything else, we'll put to the side. We will sleeve it, the sorters will do it, uh, but I won't be doing it in the live stream. Because, like I said, just takes too much time. And I am on a schedule, folks. Uh, now that that's out the way, I think I transitioned that on time. All right. Good luck, everybody. Good luck. Luck. Everybody. All right. I think he's running out of battery or something. I don't know. I need to... We're going to have a talk, young man. I'm talking to you, Abraham. I'm talking to you. We're going to have a talk. I don't know. Kind of slacking on your on your good luck charm. All right, let's open this up. See what's in this. Ah! Dealing with a cold front. It, dude, I got out of the office today at like 6.30, 7 in the morning. And, uh... When I got out of here, nipples rock solid. It was a, it was like 59, 60 degrees outside. And I know for most of you, that's probably like summer weather. For your boy, that's like cold as hell. So I got out, bum rushed to uh, 60 degree coldness to my face. That was not fun. Um, before I do this break, though... Uh, I need to grab something. I'll be right back. Ow. All right. Let's do this thing. It's sturdy and snowing where you're at? Yeah, I would probably not go out anywhere. Well, you know, Brad and Josh, you know, that's not the first time somebody's called me their lucky charm. What can I say? I do what I do. Yeah, dude, it's probably like 60 degrees still out here. And it feels amazing. Uh, I just don't like when the, when the weather changes abruptly. Because I'm extremely sensitive to, the, to like weather changes and things of that nature. So, you know, your boy your boy got a little stuffy nose, a little something, something, you know what I'm saying? It's 50 degrees where you're at? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm cool. I have become accustomed to, to 100, 100 degree weather with 100% humidity. So whenever it gets like below 70, I start shivering. Well, one thing I will say about the prism, Josh, is there is a ton of color. There's a lot of good stuff to get in there. Um, so it's really up to you, man. You know, if you, if you don't like the chrome, it does kind of look like the chrome. So, hey, do what you do. Just know, whatever it is you do decide to do, Uncle Jesse going to do you right. You have, it's 56 degrees and you have shorts on? Yeah, fuck that noise. Dude, it's 60 degrees and, you know, from head to toe, I'll put on some earmuffs, I'll throw on some fucking mitts or whatever, and I don't have mitts, so I'll use like the oven mitts that I got at the crib, so I look like a fool out here in the streets, but I don't care, it's cold. I don't really like the cold, I really don't, I, I, I would much rather deal with the the heat 
But I will say this. I did sleep like a baby. I did sleep like a baby. Something about it being cold, you know, just want to snuggle up and just sleep forever. Yeah, like I woke up today. I woke up at what five? Cause you know, your boy does the late night, the late night grind. So I wake up at five, and it already, I, I was all I could think of was like, man, I can't wait to come back to my bed. <laughs> and I was still in bed, and I'm thinking I can't wait to come back. I finished watching the show I was, you know, watching on Netflix. I've been watching the show called Zoo, which is actually pretty good. But now it's done, so like I need to find more meaning in my life. So I was like, you know what? Let me go to the office and let's break some NBA hoops. Hey. All right. So as you know, I'm gonna separate inserts to the best of my ability and any numbered cards. I will only be sleeving uh, low numbered cards, things that are numbered to 25 or less, and of course sleeving and top loading the autos. As you can see, there's a stupid amount of base cards in this. Did I did did I watch Big Mouth? Oh wait, is that the one where they where it's like an animated show and they're talking about like puberty or something like that? I think I think I know what you're talking about. The autograph to start us off is Malik Monk of the Hornets. That's a good autograph right there. He's having a decent year so far. The Ranch is a funny comedy. I think I've seen like little previews for that. Is that I think that's the one with Ashton Kutcher. Uh I don't know how I feel about Ashton Kutcher. The only Ashton Kutcher role I've ever really liked was when he was Kelso in the 70s show. Other than that, I'm really not a fan of, uh, of, of the guy. If I'm being honest. See, like, these Road to the Finals inserts, they're numbered to 2017. It will get sleeved. Uh, just not by your boy. To 199, Wesley Woundu with the magic there. Again, it will get sleeved. Just not during the break. Because it, it takes too much time, guys. <sighs> Sam Elliott, isn't that that white dude with, like, the amazing mustache? I'm not good with names, but I'm good with faces. These 2K inserts for Shaq are kind of funny. He never ages, really. Seriously, I think he's also in the in the Big Lebowski. He's like the dude that's like narrating or whatever. And legit, I don't think he has aged. What's up, Maggot? Me? Sounds good, Maggot. I appreciate you coming through. Paying your uh, paying tribute to your uncle Jesse, so I appreciate that. Uh, I do hope you have a safe flight and uh, have a good time out there. Come back safe to your uncle Jesse. Uh, and hey, make sure you uh, you treat the fiance right tonight. You know what I'm saying? Of course, I watch Trailer Park Boys, Dylan G. Joel Balomboy for the Jazz. I'm glad somebody watches Trailer Park Boys in this bitch. Trailer Park Boys is like the best kept secret in all of Netflix, I think. It's so fucking funny. Oh my god. That's why you're my boy, Dylan G. That's why you're my boy. You're my boy, Blue. You're my boy. 
It really is the best show. It's so funny. Like, who's your favorite character? I'm going to have to go Bubbles. Bubbles is probably my favorite character. Michael Carter Williams or the Horn is there to 199. Julian would probably be my least favorite character. Although I do like the fact that he, you know, everywhere he goes, he has a rum and coke. <laughs> everywhere he goes. Alright, let's put this stuff away. Because it is going to get to the point where it's crazy. Ricky is actually pretty awesome too. Like a friend of mine... Uh, actually, uh, my best friend, he's like, dude, you got to watch Trailer Park Boys. So I started watching it. And then, he, you know, before I, I even started watching it, he's like, bro, you remind me of Ricky from Trailer Park Boys. And I'm like, what the fuck is Trailer Park Boys? He's like, bro, just watch it. So I'm watching it, and I see the antics Ricky gets into. And I'm like, you know what? I might be Ricky. All I need to do is walk around in those button downs. That you know that you could buy at the flea market and whatnot, get my hair slicked back with the sweet mutton chops, and boom, Ricky. I love bubbles though. Like I have a friend of mine, my, his name is Benji, and he reminds me of bubbles. Like he's just like bubbles. And Greg, which is my best friend that put me on to Trailer Park Boys, he reminds me of Julian. Cause that motherfucker's drinking all the time, just like Julian, and he always has some kind of like get rich quick scheme. So I love the show, man. It, it reminds me of my friends. It's pretty, pretty awesome show. Randy is hilarious. Rest in peace to uh to my boy, my boy Leahy. I don't know if you know, but the guy who played Jim Leahy, he passed away recently. All right, Peter Leahy. That was by far the greatest drunk on TV. And like he was, a, he he was like really good at acting. He was he was either drunk as hell, or he's that great an actor to act that drunk. What's up, Death Amongst All? You guys really all should be watching Trailer Park Boys. I mean, it it is similar to Ed, Ed and Eddie in the sense that you know, they're kind of like you know white trash. But uh, in this case, with Trailer Park Boys, they're Canadian, and uh, they get into all types of bullshit. I have not seen the Snoop Dogg episode. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's a few Snoop Dogg episodes, actually. I mean, I'm all caught up. I've seen all the seasons on, on, on Netflix. Well, Death Amongst All, I hope I can put you in a better mood, maybe, you know, with my antics or something. My, well, I think one of my favorite episodes for Trailer Park Boys is uh, the one with Sebastian Bach in it. You know, the, the rock star. That, dude, that show's really just hilarious. Well, I can't really talk too crazy yet. My late night crew's not in here yet. I'm waiting for the late night crew. Because, you know, once it turns to midnight... Hashtag Rip City After Dark. Now, I just want you to know, I've only done two boxes so far. And I have 18 more to go. In case you're wondering. <sighs> Alright. Hey, Jones. Am I alone in here? I think I'm alone in here. Who did Sebastian Box sing for? Damn, you got me there. I know his name because I love the show that much, so I know the guy's name. I want to say Twisted Sister, but I know for a fact that it's not Twisted Sister. I think that guy's name is D. Snyder. Skid Row! There it is. I was going to get to it, you know, after like the 13th try. 
Maurice Harkless, 299 for the Trailblazers. He's a really funny dude. Like, I'll be honest, haven't listened much of his music, but he's a really funny dude. On the show, anyway. He's fucking hilarious. Yo, question. I need y'all to get, like, on the Google machine. I know the Dolphins play at in, like, about an hour, but can anybody tell me if the Heat play as well? Your Uncle Jesse would appreciate it. Well, you know what's a really good way of calming down death amongst all? Smoke a blunt. Smoke you a nice J. You know what I'm saying? Go to your favorite, you know, food place or whatever the fuck. You know what I mean? Get you like a nice pizza or something. And uh and you'll be alright. Frank Tilinka. I think the N is silent there. For the Knicks. Dolphins are playing right now? No, we're not. We don't play till 8.30. Oh, that's right. Well, Josh, I appreciate that. I feel like you legit looked it up, so thank you, bro. Uh, yeah, I forgot about that one, Death Amongst All. Um, I don't know, dude. I really don't know what to tell you. I haven't been in a relationship in so long. So I can't really give you like my two cents. And plus you shouldn't listen to me anyway. Because I'm kind of stupid. You know me being me. I'd, I'm, a, I'm kind of an asshole. So I'd, you know, I'd probably be like well fuck that. That's your house. Get up in there. And that would probably just cause more problems. Heat don't play till Saturday. Oh snap. You know what? Do you, do, do you know if we play at home? Do we play at home, Josh? Kyle Wiltger are the Raptors with the auto. Oh, so you're good to go, Death Amongst All. You are, uh, as we say in the streets, cool as the other side of the pillow. Yeah, we still say that in the streets. I have a feeling that I'm going to pull Alonzo Ball out of this thing. Jeremy Lamb to 199. Oh, we play against Boston at the crib, though? Like, we play in Miami? Yo, I might just have to find some tickets. If I can find tickets cheap enough, probably take my, uh, my, adopted, my adopted father to go watch a game. He took me to a game uh, last week. He took me to the Hurricanes game. So I might just repay the favor and take him to the Heat game this week. I thought we got shorted in auto, but we did not. Cool. The game is at 8. Sweet. You're going to be watching LeBron Saturday in New Orleans? Well, hopefully he plays. Uh, from what I've seen or and heard, LeBron's a little banged up. But it's early in the season and you know, they're still trying to get the ball rolling. I think he'll play. Are you a Pelicans fan, Kevin, or a Cav fan? The correct answer is I'm a Heat fan, but hey. Not for everybody. I get. I get it. A Thunder fan. So, question: Were you a Sonics fan before that? A LeBron Sacramento fan. That's kind of random.
Well, so Lim, if you were paying attention, you would know, buddy. Luckily for you, we just started, so I don't mind showing them again. There's the Kyle Wiltjer of the Raptors, and there was the Frank uh, Tilakina for the Knicks. Uh, that was in the second box. In the first box, it was Joel Ballon Boy and Malik Monk of the Hornets. I got you, Solim. I got you, bro. I got you. Go ahead and make that paper. Oh, dude, white chocolate. That's my boy right there. That was probably my favorite team to watch ever. And that includes the LeBron James Heat version. The 2006 Heat team was legendary. You have the uh, the Timberwolves in this, Solim. I mean, I've seen some pretty sweet autographs in this thing. I've seen the Dwayne Wade auto. Uh, Jason Tatum. Markel Fultz already pulled. I pulled the Josh Jackson. Um, the Malik Monk I pulled earlier just now. So there's some really nice stuff in this. Let's go Dolphins. You bought a box and pulled a Justin Jackson? Nice. By the way, I do have personal boxes available on the website for those interested in some more hoops action. I do have personal boxes available. They are in the store. Holla at your boy. As I work on this third box here, there's just so many packs to go through and so many cards. However... There is potential for some nice stuff in this. All right, here we go. Those check inserts are kind of cool. Pretty funny. It's a 99, the championship moment there for the Thunder. Well, listen, nose, the nosebleeds is where you want to sit for the heat game, honestly. That's where that's where all the fun goes down, man. That's where the real heat fans are at, you know what I'm saying? Because people that sit in the bottom, they just got money to blow. They don't give a fuck about the heat. They just there because they got money and they got nothing else to spend it on. The real heat fans sit in the nosebleeds, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I thought that was going to be an autograph, so I was kind of slow rolling it. What about this one? No, nope, it's 299 though. This might be an auto right here. Ek Anigbogu with the auto for the Pacers. Twenty-six dollars to sit at the tippy tippy top. That's not too bad. I'm gonna have to talk to him. Uh, I probably won't talk to him today, but uh, I'll hit him up tomorrow and see if he wants to go. He's never been to, well, the last time he was at a Heat game, they played in the Miami Arena. And that was like a good 20 years ago. We haven't played in the Miami Arena in so long. Well, that is true. You know, when you live in Miami, there's plenty to spend your money on. That's for sure. Section 415, row 16. For 20-something dollars, that's not too bad. I'll pay for his ticket and mine, but his sons and nephews, they on their own. <laughs> is that is that bad? Is that wrong of me? I don't care. Nothing there. Like I went to I went to the Hurricane game last week with him, uh, his son and his nephews. And one of his nephews left the game at halftime. Uh, and I was just like, what? Oh, hell no. Ricky Rubio for the Jazz with the auto. 
So I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, does this happen regularly? And he's like, yeah, he's like that. He's weird. So I will not be buying that ticket. Listen, fourth row seats, bro. You could practically breathe on the players from the fourth row. See, I can't sit that close to the action because uh, I'm a pretty big heckler. You know, I do I do like to talk shit. Uh, and I'd probably get kicked out. Yeah, I like the row 400 or whatever the hell it was a lot better. Section 4 or whatever it was that you said earlier. It really depends on, you know what, I need to check the injury report because I know Hassan hasn't been playing for a little while. And I honestly want to see my boy Hassan. So if he's not playing, uh, I don't think I'm going to go. Oh, and I forget, tomorrow Saturday. Well, actually, no, not tomorrow. Two days from now, it'll be Saturday, Jesse. Get it together. Um, but I'll probably take him out to a bar or something to watch the Hurricanes game. I don't know. I'll figure something out. I, do, I, want, I just want to do something nice for him. You know, that's Uncle Jesse. That's what I do. Uh, Kobe, I'll be honest. This is my first time looking at this product. Um, I, I didn't see it last year. Uh, one thing I will say about it, though, is there's just way too many base cards in this thing for me. Uh, if I'm being honest. Way too many base cards. Um, however, it is the first product with the, the new draft class in their pro uniforms. So there is potential for some nice stuff. And there's also veteran uh, autos in this stuff. So there's good big names to be had. Um, I just wish it wasn't, you know, 20 packs per box with a bajillion, you know, base cards in them. I could do without that. But the product itself is nice. Well, Josh, I mean, I've, I've actually, you know, for that, I'll just go to a Marlins game. It costs like $10 to get into a Marlins game. That is the motto. Honesty is pretty big with your boy. You know, I, I'm, I'm mostly called, you know, a lot of people mistake my my brutal honesty as me being an asshole which yeah i kind of am but i would much rather be honest and blunt than the you know sugarcoat stuff for people what uh what nba pack so you're you're only into the nba stuff kobe i mean it really depends on what you're looking for i will say this though if you happen to find yourself some contenders basketball, um, I'll show you what the box looks like. These are the hobby boxes uh, for contenders draft picks. If you could manage to get your hands on some of this, this is going for stupid money on eBay. Like if you could find the Lonzo Ball autograph in this product, you're going to get some good money. Or any of the top five picks. Jason Tatum or Markel Folds. Um, you know what I mean? If you can get your hands on one of these, it's money. I would suggest this. Um, but that's just me. You know, from PA to Florida is not too big of a drive, Josh, you know. Especially if you want to come hang out with your lucky charm. Your boy, Uncle Jesse. You telling me you don't want to hang out with your Uncle Jesse? You already got a cracked ice, Lonzo? Dude, that is moolah.
What's the cracked ice number two? To like 23 or something? I would say this, do not sell it on Craigslist. Do not sell it on Craigslist. If you really want to sell stuff, man, either go to like your local card shop, what's up, Mason? Or, uh, you know, as much as uh, you know, eBay is probably the best way to find uh, or I should say to reach as many people as possible. I'm chilling, Mason. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to see some Dolphins football here in a bit. I don't think card, well, some card shops probably buy cards. Uh, but you're likely to find somebody in there who wants to buy cards. You know what I'm saying? Sixty dollars to go to a game of the Devils? Well, I've never been to a hockey game, so come down and let's. Oh my God! I see the auto. I'm gonna try to like hide it because I see what the auto is. It is a big time auto. What up, H Town? Yep. Listen to the Bobster. Put that thing up on eBay. Gary Harris, Nuggets there. The Shaq inserts. Nothing there. There is an autograph, though, for the Mavericks Dirk Nowitzki. That's the auto. That is a nice card right there. How you doing, H-Town? I was going to say, you're looking forward to the game tonight, but they don't play tonight. They play Friday, I believe. Yeah, the uh, the Prism is not going to go for a while. I think Prism is at, what, 10 o'clock? I could be wrong. Prism is actually at 11. Oh, boy. So, Seth looks getting an auto here. Abdel Nader. Dirk Nowitzki, man, Dirk Nowitzki auto, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, NT at nine. I was I was looking through the schedule. Um, seeing as how I'm doing this though, probably not gonna start that break on time. I mean, you guys saw that. Um, for those of you that saw this last night, you know it was going to take at least two hours to do this. It's unreal how many cards are in this. The Berea there to 199. Is that Collins Trailblazers insert? Chicka chicka wow wow. Zach Randolph of the Kings there to Where? 
we've gone through the auto, so let's see what else is in this stuff. Besides a whole bunch of base. Alright, that's it for that box. I've gone through four boxes so far. Needed a day to calm your nerves. <laughs> it, listen, I'll say, man, that's one of the best games I've seen. That was a crazy game. I don't know if it was as good as Game 7 of last year's World Series, but it was up there for sure. Mind you, I haven't seen that many games though, so. <sighs> ah, freaking stuffy nose, man. Josh, if you want to do that, you know you got to come. You got to come to Miami, baby. That's because you're a good husband, Death Monk's Soul. some water man all right let's get through this one Joseph Nurkic of the Trailblazer with an auto. Dolphins wearing the all white today. I was hoping we'd come out in the all orange or all teal or something like that. Or break out the, the rare blue unis that we have.
Cody Zeller to 25 for the Hornets. That's low, so it gets a sleeve. Backstage pass, which I hear are short printed. So much base. Tyler Lighten on the Nuggets there. Bulls Larry Markaken. some hotness who's all in this break guys let's get that chat moving along it's looking a little slow right now uh yes all rookie ship uh so limb as usual tyler light in the nuggets with the auto AZ card got the Suns looking for the Josh Jacksons. The Timberwolves, dude, they've been pretty. They've been playing pretty good ball this year, man. I think in two years, if they can keep that team together and you know keep improving, they're gonna be contenders. I still feel like they're missing some uh, some pieces though. They got a good team though. Uh, H Town, do I think the prism for the store will fill tonight? Uh, if I'm being honest, I don't think it is. However, stranger things have happened. I definitely think we can fill it, especially if people want to win two hundred dollars and break credit. Then we'll get that thing filled. For those of you guys watching, guys, if we can fill Prism Football tonight, I am going to give away $200 in break credit, but we have to fill Prism Football on the website, all right? We fill Prism, Web, uh, Prism Football on the website, and I will give away $200 in break credit. Oh, no, 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 that, I mean, we're breaking it for eBay, H-Town. Remember, on the website, there is no schedule. On the website breaks, those happen as soon as we fill them. That's when I break it. Uh, what I was saying was for 11, we have a prism for the eBay, but not for the store. The store breaks will go as soon as we fill them. So for those of you guys watching... Interested in prison football still lots of good teams available there Chiefs still available Bears still available Jags Panthers still up there Yeah, my bad H-Town But you know how it is, you know, we don't break anything on the website until it's full But if we can fill that prison football tonight I'm going to give away $200 in break credit. But it must be filled tonight. And I'm going to be in, I'm going to be in here till at least 5 in the morning. It's 7:55. It's about to be 8 p.m. I'm going to be here for a while, folks. So we got plenty of time to do so. Not to mention for those of you that have never made a purchase on the website, visit the website ripcitycards.com, register for an account. And you can save $15 on your first purchase. So you can save 15 bucks on your first purchase and have a chance to win $200. That sounds like a good deal to me. 
Uh, I have thought of some fillers, H-Town. Um, my problem right now is time, H-Town. Considering the schedule that I have for eBay, I have basically breaks every hour. So it's going to be difficult to find time to run fillers for it, you know what I mean? So I would much rather have people just straight up buy their teams on the website. Uh, I can definitely run a filler for it. Like I said, it's just going to be difficult considering the schedule I got to keep for eBay breaks. Let's see what's in this box. This is box number six. Panini points right there. 400 of them. Which kind of sucks because it replaces an auto. Uh, but we'll do the random for that at the end of the break. And I'll do it amongst all teams. See who gets that at the end. Nice for the Sixers, Joel Embiid with the auto. That is a nice card. That is a nice card. Andrew Wiggins, who's been playing crazy good this year. <laughs> D Wade for the Bulls. Courtside insert. Now we did get the auto already, the Embiid. And Panini points replaces an auto. But what are the odds they throw an extra one for your boy in here? Let's see. That was pretty specific. Uh, Death Amongst All. Bradley Beal to 99 for the Wizards. Kyle Kuzma of the Lakers. That's a good card. Kyle Kuzma's nice rookie out there for the Lakers. Angelo, I honestly don't know. Happy wife, happy life, death amongst all. Well, Angelo, you know, we do send out tracking information uh, as soon as our stuff ships. 
So if you haven't received that email, uh, then chances are it hasn't shipped. Uh, yes, Jason, this is number three. Let me put this away. Yeah, I mean, I'm not married and probably never will be, uh, but I know that much. Thursday night football. Let's go, Dolphins. Your boy's about to get crazy in a little bit. Yeah, well, we also, you know, we, we do that sometimes, Angelo. We'll, we'll combine a lot of the stuff uh, when we ship it out. So it may, maybe it went together with that, but I, I, I just, I don't know, honestly. I'm not here, you know, when they're doing the shipping and all that stuff. But I do know they combine shipping. Uh, yes, Jason. Yes, it is. Gonna be here for a while. I'm not even halfway through. And it's approaching an hour. Yeah, no worries, Angelo. You know, I would go out and check for you, like to see if we have any sorts here. Uh but I got I gotta focus on the break, my man. When I get some time, uh, if you're still here hanging out and you see me like not doing shit, remind me and I'll go check the sorts and uh, see if you're in there, my man. Uh, I don't know, Jason. Watch the break, my man. All right, here we go. I'll, I'll just flash them for you real quick. And uh, you tell me. Actually, I don't think any of your team has been pulled. I don't see any Clippers, Hawks, or Bucks. So keep watching, my man. What do I think of Matt Moore? I think he's better than Jake Cutler. So it begs the question, why did we sign Jake Cutler in the first place? And I really don't know. Oh, dude, Jarvis has scored a touchdown in the last three games. So hopefully that trend continues. And Matt Moore does like Jarvis Landry a lot. He targets him a good amount. Along with Kenny Stills too. So we'll see. We shall see. I hope they just, you know, they got to feed Ajayi the Rock, man. They really do. He's only had two 100-yard rushing games so far this year. And that's not going to cut it. We, we really got to stick with the run game. To at least keep the defense honest. For the Blazers, Maurice Harkless with the auto. No worries, Angelo. Thank you, bro. 
yeah, just remind me, and uh, when I get a chance, I'll, I'll go out and uh, see if I can find you, my man. When did that break happen anyway, Angelo? Do you remember? Because, you know, chances are it did go, but I, I don't want to give you, uh, you know, a bullshit answer. Mike Wallace is hurt? Well, I was never worried about Mike Wallace. Uh, in my opinion, he's kind of overrated. Actually, no, I don't think I don't think he's overrated. I think he's rated about right. You know, he had a great, great time when he was with the Steelers. Uh, but ever since he went to the Dolphins and then after that bounced around, hasn't really been the same player. He really can't catch the ball. You know, he's lightning fast, but like I said, doesn't really catch the ball when you need him to. Sendarius Thornwell. There's a a pull for the Clippers right there. Then again, that's what happens when you go to Miami. I've noticed all players that go to Miami kind of just suck. Like Brandon Marshall, when he came to the to, to the Dolphins, he was coming off a great season. Comes to the Dolphins and fucking sucks. Dante Culpepper. We picked him over Drew Brees. Comes to the Dolphins, fucking sucks. It just, it's, it's, I don't know, man. I don't get it. Martavis Bryant is not up for grabs. He's, he is not, he, no. You know, I don't, I'm, I'm guessing that it did ship, uh, Angelo. I'm, I'm gonna just throw it out there. I'm guessing, uh, it was combined with, uh, with, I think you have tracking information for something that's on its way to you now. I think you mentioned that in the chat or not. Um, but like I said, I will check for you when I when I get some free time. Martavis Bryant is still signed to the Steelers, though. Um, he's benched, but I don't. He, I know he wants to get traded. That doesn't necessarily mean he's going to. Um, I don't think the Steelers will trade him if they're not going to get anything of equal value, whatever they deem that is. So they're probably just going to keep him under contract, you know, bench him or whatever. They'll pay him his money. And then uh, he'll be a free agent after next year. I believe he's still under contract for another year. Except for that box. Let's put this away. I agree. Brandon Marshall should have never left the Broncos. He really had a great career out there. That and he could probably just smoke a whole bunch of weed. And he's kind of a weird guy, like, you know, he's kind of a weird dude. He has he has issues. He has issues. Yeah, it's probably combined with that one. Um, Angelo. But I will check when I get a chance for you, my man. Just like like I said, just remind me. Sitting on my ass talking shit. Be like, yo, Uncle Jesse, check on that for me. You mean a Jai? Yeah, it's it's a Jai. Um you missed the eye. But you you know, pretty good there so far. Um What was I gonna say? Yeah, no. You already have Le'Veon Bell. What do you need another running back for? Plus, I don't want a distraction. Martavis Bryant is a distraction. I don't, I don't want Martavis Bryant. Especially in Miami. If that guy's acting a fool in Pittsburgh, where there ain't shit to do... No disrespect, but could you imagine what he's going to do in Miami? We have pretty good receivers. Jarvis Landry, uh, Kenny Stills is kind of good when he does catch the ball. Fast as hell, but uh, not really, uh, I don't know, I don't really trust him, I'll be honest, with the rock. Um, there's also... My boy, uh, 
who's hurt right now from Louisville, uh, Devontae. You know, this could have been a, his his coming out year, and he was having a good good season until he got hurt. Uh, I'm hoping he plays tonight. We could use a you know a six four receiver. Yeah, no, thank you, dude. I don't want Martavis Bryant on my team. Period. Period. Even if you give him to me for free, I don't want him. That guy's a distraction. And you know, and, and his his ability does not exceed the the risk that I would have to take if I do add him to my team. The, the guy's a liability. You know what I mean? Given his history and the things he says in the media and things of that nature, I don't want him. I really don't. I don't want him. Yeah, the Bucks. The Bucks got a nice team, man. The Bucks got a nice team. The record doesn't really show it. Well, who's the Steelers' new tight end? Is it Jesse James? The defense is screwing y'all. I haven't seen any Bucks games, I'll be honest. But on paper, you guys look good as hell. I'll say this much. At least you have a quarterback. And when you have a quarterback in this league, you're going to be good. Dragon Bender there for the Suns today, you know? For the Jazz, Tony Bradley with the autograph. Let's go, Dolphins. A questionable quarterback? You think Mariota's questionable? I mean, Mariota. Winston? Dude, I would take Winston on my team any day. I'll take Winston over any of my quarterbacks with one arm tied behind his back and a leg amputated. Quarterbacks, our quarterbacks stink. You know, no disrespect to Tannehill or more, but... I'm looking at the... I'm trying to win a championship. Fuck trying to win a playoff game or even get into the playoffs. I'm trying to win a championship. I don't think those guys have what it takes to lead us there. Damn, Josh. So he's not consistent. Well, it's... What is it? His third year in the league? So it's going to take some time. Unless you're Carson Wentz, then, you know, you're wise beyond your years and you just can ball on fools in your second season. What about that kid out there, man? Carson Wentz is having an insanely good year. Well, I don't know. Vikings kind of, uh, you know, gave up last year, too. Their defense kind of just was like, well, fuck this. However, I heard Teddy Teddy might be coming back this year. I heard he started practicing. What you think about that? Sam Bradford might be back for week 10. Nice auto here. D'Angelo Russell of the Nets with the autograph.
Look at a nice card right there. Put that there. Andre Godala to one ninety nine for the Warriors. Where, where? Yeah, I don't think I don't think uh, bringing Teddy Bridgewater back, you know, this deep into the season is a good idea. Um, but who knows, man? Yeah, I'm just I'm pulling for him because you know he's he's from my neighborhood. So it'd be nice to see, you know, one of the dudes that made it out of the hood be get get back to ballers. Because he was having a good he was having a great uh season. I'm sure he got hurt. The Packers are discussing a contract with the with Kaepernick. You know, of all the teams for him to possibly go to, I think the Packers would be a good fit. One because they're a publicly owned team. The only publicly owned team in the league. Yeah, I put the quotation marks on there. Um, but with that rabid fan base that they have, I think they'll support him. And who knows, man. They, they, they have talent out there for the Packers. You know, Kaepernick is a really good quarterback. It's, it's a shame that he's not getting uh, any love. You know, I, I hate to say it, but uh, I got to call a spade a spade. You know, most of the, the owners are old, rich, white guys. And I'll be honest, I'll say it. I feel like they have a plantation mentality. You know? So, why would they want a player who's going to openly, you know... What's the word I'm looking for? Kind of rebel. You know what I mean? They probably they probably wouldn't like that. And I think that's why he hasn't found a job yet. I feel like all the owners banded together were like, Don't sign Kaepernick! Don't sign him! White power! Jordan talking about buying out the Hornets. Does he have that kind of money? Instead of buying the Hornets, he needs to uh, figure out a way to buy some more players to want to go out there. Because uh, they got a good team, but they ain't going to win a championship anytime soon. And that is probably killing, you know, your airness. Luis Montero, the Pistons. No, he does not, Death Amongst All. Michael Jordan does not own the Bulls and half the Lakers. I call bullshit. There is no way Michael Jordan has that much money to own a front, you know, to own the Bulls and half the Lakers. Yeah, no way. Calling bullshit. I need links. I need, uh, you know, I need proof. 
Because, yeah, exactly. That would be kind of a conflict. Exactly. That's... I was looking for the words, but AZ Cards Chad got my back. I'm pretty sure that's against the rules to, to have... You know, stakes in multiple teams? Yeah. Don't think that's allowed. But then again, what do I know? Another one for the Nuggets? Tyler Lydon, his second auto in this case for the Nuggets. I need to open more Tapalotas. Here we go. the hotness come on with the hotness I think we should get at least another auto out of this box so he owns the Hornets and looking to buy into the Bulls if I were him I would just sell the Hornets if he really does own them sell them and just play golf the rest of your life. Because uh, you are the greatest player, but you suck as a GM and everything else. Somebody needs to humble him. Hey, Mike, when's the last time the Hornets won a championship? Crickets. Bruh, you suck. <laughs> You know, I feel like Michael Jordan, I feel like he has way too many yes men around him. Yes, Mike, yes, the Hornets are a great team. Oh, my God, they're awesome. They're so good. Oh, man, you got a great team on your hands, Mike. And then Uncle Jesse steps into the conference room all like, yeah, uh, fuck what that guy said. Uh, listen, Mr. Jordan, I'll be honest with you. Your team fucking sucks. You're a terrible owner. You can't see talent. Remember when you tried to draft Kwame Brown? Yeah, I never forgot. You clearly don't know what you're doing. You're fucking fired. But I'm Michael Jordan. I don't care who you are. You suck. Goodbye. I don't think he would take that very well. Um, But I don't care. I just tell it like I see it, man.
Oh, snap. About to kick the ball off. So Dolphins get the ball first. I don't think I like that. I don't really like receiving the ball first. When I used to play Madden, I would always defer. Let my defense play first. This is box number 10. Dolphins already with a penalty for the Thunder. Samaj Kristen with the auto got a pretty clean auto on there for that guy. All right, Dolphins, let's get it together here. Almost drew a pick. What's up, Devin? Uh, I don't speak ones and zeros, but I'm assuming you're saying hello. What it do? Let's go, Dolphins. Oh, now you want to run the ball on second and 15? Ooh, let's go, Ajayi. Let's go. Let's go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. My man picking up the first down. Got to run the ball, boys. Got to run the ball, boys. Later, Devin. Have a good night, man. D'Angelo Russell to 25 there for the Nets. That's nice. What is that, a sack? Nope. Just blown up play. Don't stop running the ball. Man, I got to blow my nose at some point. God, I hate when the weather changes. I always get sick. Canard there for the Pistons to 189. For the Bulls, Laurie Markaken with the auto. Alyssa, do you know if there's monster in the vending machine? Did you go today to the vending machine at all? Oh. Gotcha. I know, man. Yeah, it's been empty for the last couple of days. I, I checked last night and it was empty. Fuck. Your boy need that caffeine, y'all. Third and five. Should be an easy pickup. Nope. Of course not. It's the fucking Dolphins. So, three and out. Awesome. Started the game with a penalty. <laughs> awesome. Alright, so that's it for that box. So what's it been? An hour and a half now? Since I've been doing this thing, I'm only halfway through. Alright, looks like it's going to be on to the defense now. Show me what you got.
What up, Brayden? How you doing? Respond to this customer real quick. We're doing NBA Hoops Basketball, Braden, for eBay. It was scheduled at 7 o'clock. Well, Brayden, I did say it's eBay. I did say it's eBay. So if you're if you're looking for the store break, it hasn't gone yet. We're doing eBay stuff right now. Later, Josh. Have a good night. Alyssa, can you do me a favor and change this trash, please? It's getting fucking crazy. How long are you staying here tonight? Why are you here so late, actually? Well, I appreciate the hard work. So why are you really here? Trying to get that money? <laughs> you wait, 80 hours? 80 hours, you said? Oh, well, two weeks. Oh, well, yeah, two weeks. Two weeks, okay. I'm thinking one week. I'm like, what? Oh, so you got to get that money then. There's plenty of shit to sort. Oh, yeah? Nice. Sweet. Right. From Tuesday? Whenever you do those, and no, not the NT breaks. Yeah, from Tuesday, whatever. I'm just confused. I'm tired. I hear you. I've been using That's it. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna be here till five or six in the morning. If that makes you feel any, if that makes you feel better. Well, I was gonna stay here like a lot later I hear you. I was here Monday till like Gail well, Gail came in and I was still here. Yeah, he told me. I came in like I came in that day at like nine or like a little bit after nine. Yeah, I had probably just left. Yeah. Like he, literally just left. I walked in and he wasn't in here because he stepped out. He was in the bathroom, I think. Yeah, and then he walks in and he's like, Do you see Jesse? I'm like, 
just left. Like, yeah. Right before you got here. I'm like, oh, damn. Been putting in that OT, OT. Damien Dotson of the Knicks. I don't want to hear overtime until you've done the amount of overtime that I did two years ago when Jason went to when you first started here when Jason was in Japan. Jason was in Japan when I was here? Yeah, like he had just got back right when you started. Wow. Yeah. How many hours did you put in? Of overtime, I had 50 hours of overtime. Jesus. That Taco Bell must have been good. I saw you I saw you on Taco Bell you bought the other day too. I've been eating out so much. It's fucking awful. It's a problem, Jones. Like, I'm you just, eating weight. I'm like, uh -uh. Well, one and two, there's also the uh the money situation. That too. Do you, I don't wanna know how much I've wasted on money like this past no, I can't. You probably could have just gone grocery shopping and bought a, a fuck ton of food. See, the thing is, I went grocery shopping, but I don't have time to cook. I hear you. Because by the time you. I get home, it's already 7 o'clock at You're night. tired. You just want something quick. Exactly. CJ Miles of the Raptors to 10. That's pretty nice. Uh, Brayden, the reason it takes so long to do eBay, uh, and it's not even an eBay thing, it's an NBA hoops thing. It's just so many cards. There's just so many base cards. It's, it's ridiculous. I mean, do the math. There's eight cards per pack. There are 20 packs per box. And there's 20 boxes in a case. So do the math. That's a shit ton of cards. That's why it there's takes so long, Braden. There's 24 packs per box. Oh, 24 packs per box. I'm sorry. <laughs> CJ McCullum of the Trailblazers Auto. That's a nice card. That's a lot. That's a lot of cards. It really is. Like, I have a monster box that I... I this case is going to fill an entire monster box. Okay. So it's it's not necessarily an eBay thing. It's more the product. It's just a, just a lot of cards. Oh, oh, the, this thing? What up, Sports Cards Freak? How you doing? You heard a noise or something? At the le dude, late night, I hear so many weird noises. I know. I used to hear the stories from Scott. He swears one night there was a ghost in here. I don't, bl I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it. I've heard it, too. On the weekends when I'm here by myself, I used to hear the chairs in the office next door move around. Nothing, whatever. Maybe there's someone else working really late. Yeah, night. three, four of them. Yeah, no, fuck that. Because <laughs> when I used to work nights, I used to work until like when Scott went like, to offline sometimes. Damn. So when I was here, like, in the office, like, one night he sprayed a box, like, like, he across the floor by itself. I think he told me that story. If he caught on video, apparently, like, he caught it on video? Yeah, like, <laughs> the next day he's like, jumps. Look at this shit. <laughs> <was> like, <laughs> that guy's funny. You know, you know uh, Dana just had a kid, right? I know. I found out, like, Monday, like, a couple days after. Yeah, I think it was, like, Friday or something. Yeah, he called me on Tuesday. No, he called me Monday, actually. To tell you? Nice. I heard it in the room. One of the guys came in and was like, yo, Bates' woman just got into labor. <laughs> I was like, oh shit. So I shot him a text. I was like, congrats, bro. Yeah, like Jack called me on Monday. He called me on Tuesday. I was here and I texted him like, oh, you're like, I'm going to welcome your new baby. And he was like, oh, everything's good, whatever. And then he called me during the attack. And he was telling me about her hospital. And that they couldn't give her an epidural because she was like, really, like, way too fast. And 
and he's like telling the nurse, he's like, oh, like, you need to hurry up, you need to get this out, you need to get like, it's going to be too late, and that's exactly what happened. Oh, wow. She said that she went into the hospital at 8, and then at like 10 o'clock, she had a baby. Damn. Two hours. That's good, no? Yes, that's amazing. I was in labor for 16 hours with Gaby. Holy yeah, shit. I went in Sunday at like 1 o'clock in the afternoon. No, like 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I was there. I didn't have him until the next morning. Oh, Lord. At like 6.30, 633 a.m. That was when he was brought into this world. He was brought into this world. Yes. Yeah, I'm glad I'm a dude. You just have to deal with the dynamics of your woman. Yeah, but your mouth's still open for business. Shit. <laughs> I'm just I'm being honest, man. What the fuck? That mouth what that mouth do, girl? <laughs> or she could be like me where it had like this crazy pregnancy. Like there's literally imagine chicken pox and hives like combined together. What? It was all over my body. Like, While you were pregnant? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. You're that one percent. You special, girl. Exactly. <laughs> oh hell no. Don't even. Leave me alone. Well, it's, that's why I'm glad I'm a dude. Well, Kestis, I'm a, I'm still going strong, baby. Always going strong. What you talking about? For those of you wondering, that's uh that's my doll right there, Alyssa, aka Miss Jones, one of our sorters. And I'm I'm also watching the game. Speaking of the game, Tim Hardaway Jr. for the Knicks, the 25. That's nice. I'm watching the Finns as well. We playing like booty right now. But uh, what else is new? The Dolphins don't really start playing until the fourth quarter. Whether we're up or down, that's when we start playing in the fourth quarter. I don't know why, but that's uh, that's that's just what we do. We could be losing by 50 points in the fourth quarter. And we'll just randomly score two or three touchdowns like the Ravens just scored on us. And that was a sick catch. Well, there's a flag on the play. Probably holding. Well, it's probably on the Dolphins. Yep. <laughs> uh, good old Dolphins football. You guys are going to see me go crazy tonight. I'm just letting you know that right now. Sundarius Thornwell with another autograph for the Clippers. Yeah, that boy just got burnt. Great pass, though. Clint Capella of the Rockets there to 189. Buddy healed for the Kings. Oh, Dolphins, 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 Dolphins. D'Angelo Russell, second auto there for the Nets. That's nice. Porzingis. So 
so many cards. <laughs> Caleb Swanning into the Trailblazers today. Isn't it? I know this must be tough to watch. KD insert for the Warriors, and that's it for that box. So much base. Listen, my 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 soul is crying. Sports car freak. Like I am accelerating the process to uh, to getting carpal tunnel. Let's continue this one. I have seven more boxes to do after this one. What's everybody doing tonight? You know, there's no baseball happening, so you know what I'm doing besides this. A pack shredder? That's uh, kind of not a good idea. Probably end up... Oh, that's pass interference, homie. No pass interference? Okay. So you're just going to let them block my guy's progress up the field? Call it incidental contact? Yeah, that's that's cool. You know, only for the Dolphins. Let that happen to the Patriots. And, oh, pass interference. Can we run the ball, please? JJ, why would you run directly into traffic? It's what we do every game, bro. We start off super slow, and then the second half, we decide to start playing. It happens every single game. Let's continue. The Will Bart in there for the Nuggets in 99. Nothing there. My Tommy Grizzlies insert. Dennis Jr. Man, I want to see his autograph. That guy's big time. For the Suns, though, Devon Reed. 
with the auto. Uh, Matt Moore does not look good right now. Which is what I've been saying. We should have been signed Kaepernick. So what if he wore a Castro t-shirt? There's fucking dumbasses walking around with Che Guevara fucking t-shirts on. Marquise Chris with an auto for the sun. Sun's getting hot all of a sudden. Very nice. There you go, AZ card. Joe and be backstage there. Nothing there. Kyle Kuzma for the Lakers. I'd like to see his auto. That's a good player there. D Wade Bulls insert. Giannis for the Bucks to one ninety nine. I heard some dude on the uh, on eBay or whatever is, is doing a five caser of this. Uh. <laughs> Good luck to him or her. The Jeremy Lamb there, the Hornets to one ninety nine. So that was a Suns box. Two Suns autos in there. Let's put this away. Now, 9 o'clock is coming up in a few minutes here. Uh, so for those of you that are sticking around, waiting to see empty baseball, that won't happen probably for another 45 minutes. Uh, yeah, uh, Trent, uh, if you're asking for eBay breaks... The uh, the time is in the description of the listing. But we are doing two prison breaks for eBay. Uh, I believe the first one's at 11. The prism, the first, prism number three for eBay at 11. And then prism number four for eBay at 2 in the morning, Eastern Time, of course, because that's where we're located. Um, but times are always listed in the description, guys. For those of you guys asking about the eBay breaks, make sure you read the description. Knowledge is power, folks. And then the description is a lot of info that you're probably going to ask me is probably there in the description. Sounds good, Trent. Good luck to you, man. And we also have teams on the website as well. Uh, we have 19 teams left on the website. And uh, we do offer a discount for first-time purchasers on the website. You can save $15 on your first website purchase. And not to mention, that purchase you make on the website goes towards our giveaways. Current giveaway, I am giving away $200 in break credit on the website. So in order to get into that giveaway, you do got to make a purchase. Nice tackle, Kiko. What's up, Bergie? Well, you know, I can't really understand that first thing you said there. Kind of all over the place. 
Oh, never mind. I get it now. Uh, yeah. I thought so too. But there's still way, just way too many cards in this, man. Just way too many. The first one I did took me like three hours, bro. It's ridiculous. How's everything with you, though, Bergy? I am obviously breaking while multitasking and watching the uh, the game. There you go, Bergy playing hooky. Uh, sometimes you gotta do that. Needs need some me time sometimes. And uh, I am looking forward to the weekend myself. Dolphins offense, we got to get something going here. And let's get this break going as well. Tobias Harris there, insert. Uh, I'm going to speed through this a little bit quicker now. Bergy, I don't even know how to take that, right, right, what you just said right there. Is this an auto? Marcus Smart of the Celtics with an autograph. That's a nice card. Kyrie Irving insert there. The Bellica for the Timberwolves, that's number 299. What's up, Kyle? How you doing, man? Doing good. Doing good watching the Dolphins play as I break as well. You know, multitasking. You know how I do. How's everything with you, Kyle? Everything good? Justin Patton there for the Timberwolves. Trying to get through this NBA hoops break. Marquise, uh, Maurice Harkless for the Blazers there to 199. Tyler Dorsey for the Hawks with the autograph. How's everything with you, Kyle? Jarvis Landry, come on, dude. All that dancing, just turn up field. So I can I can already tell these little screen passes aren't gonna work right now. We need to open up the game. We need to run the ball, man. Run the ball. Oh, that is that is clearly a face mask. Give my man the 15 yards. See, that's classic classic shit that happens to the dolphins that does not get called. Oh, damn, Kyle. Looking to pull the big trigger. Well, all I'm going to say is, you know Uncle Jesse going to treat you right. I just hope the, you know, the case is fire for you. Well, then again, what are you looking to get into? Into the PYT, the number block. I do have a one boxer in there, too. By the way, I also have something that I haven't listed in the store just yet. I have uh, Archives Baseball, uh, where you're going to get a buyback auto, uh, guaranteed. For the, I don't know if you guys uh, have heard about the uh, the Archives Signature Series Baseball. 
Well, there's some nice stuff in there. And that's it for that. Gotcha, Kyle. Gotcha. Yeah, we just we just need some more big ballers like you to help fill that up, and we'll get that thing breaking. You know, and I have no problem breaking all night, all day and night. You know, I was I was in here uh, breaking till what was it like? To like five in the morning. Well, Kyle, I'll tell you what, man. If you are, if you do decide to buy out the rest of the break, um, I can offer you a little discount, Kyle. What you think about that? Seeing as how you've bought into a whole bunch of stuff, uh, and uh, and if you're thinking about getting the entire case, I can offer you a little something, something. Well, I don't know what we paid for it. I mean, I do know. I have the numbers and all that stuff. So I'd have to uh, take a look-see at that. And then see what I can offer you, uh, Kyle. As a little thank you from me to you. You know what I'm saying? For those of you watching, waiting to get into the NT Baseball, I will break that as soon as I'm done with this break of the uh, the Hoops base Basketball. Um, let me find out what it is. What is it? It's the NT Baseball. Let me do this for you real quick, Kyle. Kyle, question. Do you know how to submit payment directly uh, through the store? Have, uh, have I showed you how to do that yet? The uh, Or the Narwhal spot, as, uh, as it's affectionately known? You have okay so switch over to breakers and when you do let me know in breakers uh, and I'll send you an IM Where's the Bowman High Tech? Well, Matthew, the question is, are you talking eBay or store break, Matthew? By the way, hi, Matthew. Boom. 
Let's see what we got here. We're doing NBA Hoops Basketball right now. And when this is done, we're going to do NT Baseball for eBay. The Justin Pat in there to 199 for the Timberwolves. James Ennis of the Grizzlies with the auto. Porzingis to 199 there for the Knicks. Trying to finish this up quickly so we can move forward with the eBay breaks and find some time to get some store breaks filled up. <sighs> Dolphins getting banged up. Uh, I don't like the way we're playing right now. I really don't. Playing like fucking shit. Derek White for the Spurs with an autograph. Yeah, we really do need to take some some deep bombs. From what I can tell, the deep bomb, the deep ball is there. We're just not. Uh, we, we don't have enough time to let the play develop right now. They're they're killing Matt right now. Yeah, the case has been a little blah, Solim. I'm not even going to lie to you. However, we do have plenty of boxes still to go through. So there's probably some fire there. Well, we got to stick with the run, Sports Card Freak. You know, uh, I'm, I'm big on that. Even if we're not picking up, you know, yardage with the run, we got to keep running the ball. We got to keep him honest. You know, that way when they sell out and they think it's run, we do a little play action, take a shot deep, and boom, baby. Then all of a sudden they're like, oh, 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 man. Al Farouk Aminu for the Trailblazers to 99. Wow, wow. Yeah, we play the Ravens a, a lot. All right, that's it for that box. I have five more to go. Get in there. We need to get to the quarterback. Joe Flacco's a smart man. Just throw the ball away. All right, I see you swinging athletics. Oh, Tucker's going to destroy this fucking field goal right here. Let me respond to my boy here real quick. Now, I did respond to you, uh, Swinging Athletics. Uh, let me know in the chat uh, what you think as I open this up. What's up, Jayhawk? How you doing, Jayhawk? 
You've been in here chilling. Can't even say hi to your Uncle Jesse. That's not nice. Alright, if it sounds good, you know what to do. Head on over to the narwhal spot and send that to me. And uh I'm gonna I'm gonna assume it's for the full caser, right? Of course. Uh so let me take that out of the store for you. Let me find it. Doing the multitasking thing. Find it, found it, and it is now done. I took it out the store. So now, just do what you do, swinging athletics. And we in there like swimwear. Time for a Carl Anthony Towns. I think I've already pulled a Carl Anthony, not in this case, but I think in the first two cases, I, thunk, I think I pulled one already. Dolphins, we got to get something going here, man. Matt Moore, you got me, you got me wishing we had Cutler back, dude. I'm doing good, Jayhawk. How's everything with you, my man? I'm uh, obviously I'm getting this NBA hoops break going, and I have the Dolphins game playing in the background. So I'm not, you know, I'm not exactly happy about the way we're playing. I can already tell what the Dolphins are gonna do here. Calling it. Every run that I've seen, besides the first run, everything has gone to the inside. From what I can, we, we're gonna we're gonna try to go through the outside. I think. Oh well, swing and athletics. If you're on the front page of Rip City Cards, you're gonna notice a link that says, uh, "I think it'll say Rip This Business Direct Payment." It'll be the very first thing you see. It's a little whale with a horn on, the, on its head. We call it the narwhal. Um, I'll drop the link here for you. There it is. Uncle Jesse taking care of everybody. The middle of the field is wide open. He didn't even look for the ball, dude. What are we doing, Dolphins? Matt Moore is playing like shit right now. Nothing here. What is this? Marcus Page of the Hornets autograph. I like it cold. But that's because I'm sick now. So, like, my temperature's all fucked up. I got, I'm, I'm trying to hibernate, Jones. Hey, hey, hey. Jesse James number one over here. Now that you mention it, it is kind of cold. I find that that it's so weird when you're like when you're sick, 
at least for me anyway, it'll be hot as fuck outside, but because I'm sick, I'll be cold, so I gotta wear a jacket. But the opposite is also true, like, it'll be cold as hell, but then I'll be hot. Like, my body's weird. I'm just a weird dude. Uh, NT Baseball is coming up next, Jeffrey, yes. Uh, I do apologize for not starting that on time. Um, it, it just, this, this product takes way too long to break. There's just a stupid amount of cards in this. OG Anunobi for the Raptors. That's a good card right there. People sleeping on OG. That's a good player right there. Raptors got a little steal in OG. He had a nice career in Indiana. Alright, so swinging athletics. I'm going to rip that for you uh, in between the eBay breaks. I, I, I do believe I'm going to have some time uh, in between a couple of these eBay breaks. So, when I do have that free time, I will break it open for you, uh, Swinging Athletics. Been doing a lot of stuff on eBay, yes. Um, but we've also been doing a good amount of stuff in the store. Uh, stuff slowed down on the store for a little bit because, you know, we're a little low on inventory. John Collins for the Hawks there to 99. Uh, but now we got a whole bunch of stuff on the store as well. Uh... It just it's a little unfortunate uh, when the new products come out uh, we put a, we do put them on eBay when they come out which is not not that that's unfortunate what is unfortunate uh, is the fact that two of the products that we break take at least and uh, you know at least two hours to do like this NBA hoops product takes me at least two and a half hours to break it uh, and that's without me sleeving like you know the numbered cards and things like that only sleeving autos and things of that nature and it's, it still takes me a long time so i don't have you know the little time in between ebay breaks to fill breaks on the website um with that being said though yes we have been doing a lot on ebay which is pretty good but you know still showing the store some love I am running a giveaway on the website where every purchase made counts towards our giveaway, you know, as usual. Uh, I'm giving away $200 in break credit. So if you buy into, uh, into a break on the website, you get entered into that giveaway. Uh, I got you in the giveaway as well, Swinging Athletics. Don't worry, Uncle Jesse going to take care of you. Uh, we, yeah, we do have... Uh, we have Ultimate Draft Football in the store. Uh, we also have box breaks for NT Baseball, uh, Collegiate Football, NT in Immaculate Style. Uh, I got personal boxes of NBA Hoops, personal boxes of Prism Football. And I also have some Archive Signature Series Baseball as well, where you're guaranteed an autograph for, uh, for 60 bucks. I don't have that in the store, but I do have it. You know, I like to keep some stuff off the website, and you know, and I like to pitch it for those of you guys that actually watch the stream and things of that nature. You know, to give you a little incentive to come in watch the breaks, because you never know what Uncle Jesse's doing on, a, on any given day. You know what I mean? What up, Ra Ra? Man, Dolphins defense is keeping us in the game, but we got to score the ball. Yeah, Archives Baseball is pretty good. It's uh, one card in the box. It is uh, autographed, numbered. It's already top-loaded and everything. It's one auto per box, though. It is the current uh, current players in the, in the MLB. It is current baseball players, nothing from the past or anything like that. It's only current players. But there's there's good stuff in there. Well, David, that's that's what I do, baby. That's what I do. Gotta keep keeping on. Wow, Dolphins absolutely suck right now. Yeah, uh, we're probably gonna lose this game. 
I don't like the way we're playing. I don't like our body language. We, we don't even look like we want to be there. Looks like I got a loss coming my way tonight. done with this and then we're going to do NT baseball eBay style as you can see I picked the speed up a little bit here yeah NT really does go fast uh, I think it'll probably take me 10 minutes to break that Eric Bledsoe, who will not be playing for the Suns anymore. Did you guys hear what's going on with that? Pretty funny. Oh, he almost picked that off. Good job, though, Rook. Cordray Tankersley. Nice pickup in the draft. Playing, playing real good for a rookie. We need we need at least another corner though. George Hill for the Kings to twenty five. That deserves a sleeve. Probably offsides on the defense there. Or the offense, I should say. Because it was if it was defense, they would have kept playing. John Collins for the Hawks with the auto. That's a nice card right there. Chicka, chicka, wow, wow. Stanley Johnson to 99 for the Pistons there. Uh, I did, I think I did, I hit the OG Anunobi for the Raptors. I think I hit it twice already. I will do a recap at the end of the break. Chris McCullough of the Wizards with the auto. This box, and that's it for that box. Oh, Justin Tucker's about to kick this thing a mile. That guy could probably legit kick a field goal the length of the field. Recap of all unnumbered cards? Yeah, fuck that. I appreciate that, David. Even even if you're lying to me, just trying to make me feel better. You know, you know what they say, flattery will get you everywhere. So I appreciate that. Uh probably not sports car freak. Well, listen, Solim, I don't know who it's rougher for, for you watching it or for me that's actually having to do it. Well, what's up, Melissa? First of all, hi. Secondly, uh, yeah, you already know we're behind. 
And we're behind so far half an hour, if we're keeping track. Uh, luckily, the empty baseball breaks pretty quickly. Oh, I'm having a blast, so Lim, breaking this. Woo! So much fun. Fuck yeah. A personal case break? I wouldn't mind doing the personal case break. See, Bertie, that's what I'm talking about. Well, I appreciate that, Melissa. I appreciate that. You know, and don't while you're at it, don't be shy and join the, the store breaks as well. Register for an account on the website and save fifteen dollars on your first purchase. Not to mention every purchase you make on the website gets you entered into the giveaway. What giveaway do you have, Uncle Jesse? I will tell you. I'm giving away two hundred dollars in break credit. That's right. That's a lot of break credit. Dolphins have punted the ball in every single possession we've had so far today. We're down by 13. Can we get on the board at least, Dolphins? Can we get on the fucking board? Yeah, it's still at 19, but, you know, you can help me out with that, Melissa. Avery Bradley to 199 for the Pistons. I can put a filler together for it. Uh, and, you know, you guys know how fillers work. It's going to make some of the bigger teams cheaper. And then the opposite is also true, where some of the lesser teams will go for a little bit higher. You know, because averages, that's how that works. Um, but if you see a team you want for the cheap, get it. Get, get, get it, not to mention, you know, that's just an extra entry into the giveaway. So you could potentially turn 20, 25 bucks into 100, maybe even 200 if you buy enough spots and breaks. Demetrius Jackson of the Rockets to 99 there. Man, the Dolphins can't get anything going. We're fucking predictable right now. Throwing the ball on first down, incomplete. Oh, it's second and ten. Let's run the fucking ball. Was it those swinging athletics? I mean, I'm kind of just like, uh. Julius Randle to 189 for the Lakers there. Lakers played a pretty good game last night against the Warriors. I mean, the Wizards. I don't know if anybody saw that. Hey, look at that. We got a first down. whoop the fucking do Need some points, boys. TJ Leaf for the Pacers autograph style. Very nice. Nothing here. Yeah, I try to separate the inserts as best I can. So my sorters, you know, have a little less to do. I'm nice like that. You've cleared a spot in your sports room for me? What does that even mean, Melissa? Like, am I invited to your humble abode to watch like to like watch the Dolphins games and whatnot? Is is that what I'm hearing? Because I don't think you want me in your house. While 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 watching a Heat or Dolphin game, cause I I fucking I go crazy. I fuck everything. Pretty much. Well, play action. You got plenty of time. Find the open fucking receiver. Throw the ball away. Thank you. Jesus. Tap dancing. Christ. Two boxes left, Solim. You are you are correct. Your 2020 vision has not failed you yet. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> That's actually pretty adorable, Melissa. That's actually pretty cute. They're going to call pass interference on the offense on that one, probably. Ah, oh, come on, Melissa. You got you to gotta forgive and forget. Forgive and forget. Oh, pass interference on the defense. Decline that son bitch, baby. That's a first down. Let's go. Where did we get the ball? At like the 30-yard line or something? That's the first time we're on the opponent's field. Side of the field, I should say. That was a good catch by Kenny Stills. Look at you, Kenny Stills. You want to catch balls and stuff now? Good for you, big guy. I need you to do that shit consistently, son. Now you run the ball. Now they're off balance. Now you run the ball with a Jai. Run it to the outside. Taking another shot deep. And it's almost picked off. Let that be a lesson to you. Run the fucking ball. Why would you take the shot deep and first 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 down, man? Come on. That's not good football. The inside was open too. You could have ran that ball. Oh, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Well, there you go, Melissa. People actually, you know, like Panini points. I'm not one of them, I'll be honest. Uh, I, I don't like the fact that they take the place of an autograph. But uh, I'm pretty sure you can buy some cool stuff with the Panini points if you get enough of them. And guess what? You've thrown the ball. First two downs. Didn't pick anything up. <gasps> you got to throw it again. So guess what? The defense is going to prepare for that. Man, I don't understand the play calling sometimes. And he fell. Of course he fell. Come on, bro. You got to be kidding me, dude. Dolphins, dude. Oh, my God. It's... Oh. Why? 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 By the way, for those of you guys watching, you might want to turn the volume down. Because uh, as, you, as you can see, I, I, I get loud. Biz Mac Biyombo, the magic there to 189. There's a 1 out of 5, Kellen Winslow. That's actually a pretty sweet card. My boy from the U. And he missed it. Of course he did. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm about to lose my shit. I'm about to lose my shit. Bergie, yeah, I did. I, I, yeah, I did. I'm not even going to sugarcoat that. I mean, the way I see it, uh, that way we can keep the kids out the room because, uh, quite frankly, um,. They, they they shouldn't be buying into stuff that they don't know. You know, like at least for eBay, like I've had some issues on eBay where, you know, kids like I'll tell you one story. There was a story where one kid supposedly took his parents' credit card or whatever the hell. Uh and he bought a bunch of stuff on eBay. So then the parent hits us back and is like, Oh look, my son, you know, took the car, blah 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 blah. And well, first of all, you gotta be eighteen or older to bid on eBay. So, someone's not doing their job. So, ever since then, I'm kind of, you know, what I'm doing? like, fuck it. I'm just going to be myself. I curse a fuck ton. Uh, and people seem to enjoy it. I, I, you know, somewhat. Luke Kennard of the Pistons autograph. Yeah, we're going to lose this game. Ravens are destroying us right now. So, 
Chicka chicka bow wow. Almost done with this break, guys. And then when I'm done with this, gonna get rocking on the NT baseball. Jeremy Lin to 189 for the Nets. Oh yeah, you know, it's like Melissa said. You know, the, the later into the night we get, we get a little bit more crazy, a little bit more raucous. Each one more, the Pelicans, auto. Damn, the game is more boring than the break. Ouch. I mean, for those of you guys watching the game, first of all, welcome to Dolphins football. I mean, listen, we're, we're going to come out guns blazing in the second half. And we're still gonna lose. Like our, our it's. I really feel for the defense because we have a good defense that's still doing it. Last box mojo. Last box mojo. Kiko Alonso got into a little scuffle, a little fight. Cool. Good. Maybe that'll light a fire under their ass because they're playing like shit. Last box mojo. It only took us two and a half hours to get here. There you go, swinging athletics. Make you some moolah, baby. Oh, hold up. What is that about? Yo, that dude just straight up manhandled Alonzo. Uh, Jeffrey, luckily, we're almost there. I didn't even get to see the play. I just see people going after my boy Kiko. That might wake us up right there. Was it a dirty hit? I got to see that replay. Well, good, Kiko. Good for you. Well, fuck you, Dylan G. I'm going to hold it down for my boy. Let's see the play here. So, quarterback slide. Uh... I don't know if that was a dirty hit. Let's see. He's sliding. He's already going. I don't know. That was kind of a bang, bang play. See, even before he slides, though, Kiko's already, like, launching towards him. He did target the head a little bit. I'll give you that. That's a little bit. Yeah. That's a little dirty play there, Kiko. That was a little, little dirty play. But I will take it. I will take it. And I like it, Kiko. Get fired up. Maybe the maybe this will wake up the Dolphins team because we're playing like shit. It's all love, Dylan G. It is all love. Good. Make Flacco feel it. May let him feel you. Get that motherfucker out the game. Can't take a hit. Personal foul. Defense. Blah, blah, blah. Is my boy kicked out the game? No. Then let's get it. Let's go, Kiko. I like that hit, man. I like that hit. I don't think he'll be... I think he'll get a fine, but I don't think he'll get suspended. I mean, it looks dirty, but it was just... It was, I think it was a bang, bang play, honestly. If you look, before Flacco even starts to, like, slide... Kiko's already, like, launching himself in anticipation. And Flacco's really not a shifty guy, so it's not like he could have dodged him, you know. Right, if that wasn't a quarterback, there would have been no penalty. But because it's quarterback, oh, let's protect the quarterback, blah, blah, blah. You, know, there's, there's, you can't even hit guys anymore, bro. Fucking pussy league right now. I remember when I first started watching football, people would get body slammed on their neck and there'd be no calls, bro. It's, it's ridiculous. You might as well be playing flag football out there. Fucking ridiculous, man. Hopefully, well, I'm fired up. So if I'm fired up, I hope the Dolphins are fired up too. Now, Alonzo's going to get a hefty fine, don't get me wrong. And he should be fined. But I don't think that warrants a suspension. I don't, you know, Kiko, the DeMontis of bonus there for the Pacers to 99. Kiko doesn't really have a history of being a dirty player. 
So I don't think he'll get suspended, but for sure he's going to get a nice fine. I like the play, though, from Kiko. I like it. I like it. Fire your team up because they're playing like shit. And now I guarantee you the Ravens' defense is going to try to hit Matt Moore. And, uh, oh, it's going to be a good one. Uh, oh, well, Cre that, that filled up already, Kestis. The 200 of spot for the full case of NT, that's already full. So, I will be breaking that when I have the opportunity to do so. I'll throw another one in the store when I get a chance. Nick Stauskas of the Sixers to 199. Uh, high tech. Uh, let me check the eBay schedule here. The high tech baseball is at 10 o'clock. Uh, but obviously, that'll get done after I'm done with the NT baseball, which is coming up soon. Well, Kestas, that's what I do, bro. You know, I got a few big ballers in here hanging out every now and then. So, you know, if you want to get into those breaks, you got to join them quick before the big ballers come through and, you know, snatch everything else up. James Johnson here for the Heat. That's a nice one. That's a nice card right there. Numbered 7 of 25. I really like James Johnson, dude. Ever since he came to the Heat, he he pretty much got with the culture. Pretty good two-way player. And he just tries to dunk on fools. Jarrett Allen of the Nets, Otto. You're going to stay in your lane, Kevin? Well, listen, that's not a bad lane to stay on. Because, you know, you do help me fill breaks. And, you know, Uncle Jesse hits for you every now and then. So, you know, keep, keep hope alive, baby. Keep hope alive. All right, guys. I know it's taken, taken us almost three hours to do this thing. Uh, but we're almost there, guys. Almost there. Let's see what we else we have in this case. And that looks like it is it. All right. So, uh, before I recap... The goodness, I do have to random off uh, 400 points Panini style. Yes, sir. Put this away. All right, we're going to random off 400 Panini points here. Let me put that up on the screen. First, I need to grab the teams here. Where is it? Here it is. Come over to the list. Paste it. And let's show it. There it is on the screen. I have all 32 teams here. We're going to random 400 Panini points. We're going to go eight times. In the random, top team gets 400 Panini points. Good luck, guys. That's one, two, three. Four, five. You're absolutely right. What the hell am I doing? I'm doing basketball, you fool. Good call, AZ card. Good freaking call. Well, we did roll the dice already. So that's done. We're going to go eight times in the random. But uh, Uncle Jesse... Fucked up a little bit right there. All right. Now we're good. Basketball, baby. Yeah, swinging athletics. That's actually what I'm going to do right after this. Um, 
Not gonna lie. Feeling a little crappy. All right, here we go. That's a lot better. Basketball teams. For a basketball break. That's four, five, six, seven, and the money shot. Good luck, everybody. 400 Panini points going to the Magic. Going to the Magic. There you go, Magic. Winning 400 Panini points. All right, let's uh, recap this business. What's up, Braden? Nice to have you back. All right. So this was a pretty nice card. Number to 10, CJ Miles of the Raptors. Um, but let's recap the autos. Allen, Nets. Johnson, Heat. Pelicans. Uh, Pelican, uh, Pel more Pelicans. <laughs> Kennard, Pistons. Leaf, Pacers. McCullough, Wizards. Collins, Hawks. Anunobi, Raptors. Page, Hornets. White, Spurs. Ennis, Grizzlies. Dorsey, Hawks. Smart, Celtics. Chris, Suns. Reed, Suns. Russell, Nets. Thornwell, Clippers. McCullum, Trailblazers. Dotson Knicks. Yes, this is eBay. Marcane and Bulls. Kristen Thunder. Leiden Nuggets. Montero Pistons. Russell Nets. Bradley Jazz. Thornwell Clippers. Harkless Trailblazers. Embiid Sixers. Leiden Nuggets. Nurkic Trailblazers. Nader Celtics. Nowitzki. Uh, Mavs. That's huge. Rubio Jazz. Uh, Anik Bogu Pacers, Natilakina, Knicks, Will Raptors, Ballon Boy Jazz, and Monk Hornets. And that, my friends, was 2017-18 Panini NBA Hoops Basketball 20 Box Full Case Break Number 3 eBay Style. Thank you very much, guys. We'll get it out to you.